Hello and welcome everyone to another Power BI video. I'm Sumit from Nice Software Solutions and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create lookup tables out of a fact table. For this video, I'm using this data set that has a couple of dimension columns and a set of factual columns as well. The thing that you'd like to notice here is that it's a single table that contains all the reporting entities. When you talk about data models and ideal reporting schemas, You'd like to have your dimensions on a separate set of tables and all the KPIs on a separate table as well. However, when you get the data in form of flat files, CSV files or Excel worksheets, you don't always get separate tables for dimensions and measures or even the keys are missing to perform the joints nicely. Now I'd like to convert this single table into a model which is more optimized for reporting. So here's what I'd like to accomplish. I want to have a category lookup table with category ID and category description columns with only unique values in it, of course. And similarly, I'd like to have a subcategory lookup table that contains subcategory ID and subcategory description columns. And then the third table, that's my fact table, should contain all the factual columns in it and obviously the mapping with both the other lookup tables as well. So the ID columns of the category and subcategory tables should be sitting here as well. To achieve all this, first let's import the data into Power BI Desktop. So I'll click on Excel, then navigate to Category Sales Report and click on Open. Choose the query from the Navigator panel and then click on Load. And once the data is loaded, let's navigate to the Query Editor screen by clicking on the Transform Data button. Now let's first create a separate table for category. So right click on the Category column header and select Add as New Query. In the new list query, to remove the duplicate category values, just right click on the column header and click on remove duplicates. Finally, convert this list query to a normal table by clicking on to table button. Say OK to this message. And let's just rename the column as category description. Now to call this as a lookup table, we also need to have an ID column that lacked as a key. We can create an index column here by navigating to add column and then selecting index column and then start from one. Now you've got a nice ID column that contains a unique ID for every row. Rename the new index column to category ID and let's also move it to the left. Let's change the data type of the description column to text and also rename the table as LU underscore category. Now let's navigate back to the category sales report table and repeat the same steps to create a subcategory lookup table as well. So right click on the column header and select add as a new query. Right click again on the column header and click on remove duplicates. Convert this list query to a normal table. Rename the column as subcategory description. Navigate to add column, select index column and then start from one. Rename the new column to subcategory ID. Change the data type of the description column to text. And then finally rename the table as LU underscore subcategory. Now we need to get the category ID column available in the fact table as well. To achieve this, navigate to the category sales report table and from the home menu select the merge queries option. And on the Merge Query screen, select the Lookup Category as the second table. Highlight the Category Description columns from both the tables and then click on OK. Now expand the new column header and make sure only Category ID is selected and then click on OK. Now that you've got the Category ID column in this table, you can go ahead and remove the Category Description column if you want because we don't need that anymore. Now let's do the same thing with the subcategory ID column as well. Select Merge Queries again. Select Lookup Subcategory as the second table. Highlight the subcategory description columns in both the tables and then click on OK. And once again expand the newly created column and then make sure only subcategory ID is selected. And then click on OK. Remove the subcategory description columns from this table as you don't need that anymore. And then finally, you might just want to go ahead and rename the ID columns appropriately. The table looks nicely arranged now, so click on Close and Apply and then let the model get updated with the new changes. 
Once the model gets updated, navigate to the model view and you will notice that the system has automatically detected relationships between these tables because it has found some common columns now. So let's see if we can create a new visualization using this data set and see if the aggregation is happening correctly. So navigate to the report view and then create a clustered column chart. Drop the category and subcategory description columns from the appropriate lookup tables onto the axis box and then drop the revenue and profit columns from the fact table onto the value box. Now as you can see, both the numeric values are nicely aggregating at the category level which is visible right now. So if you want to see the next level, all you got to do is just drill down on the electronics bar, let's say, and view the associated subcategories. And as you can see, the aggregation is happening very nicely even at the subcategory level. So this is how you can create lookup tables out of a fact table, create missing keys if you want on your tables, and then finally create a nice data model that is optimized for reporting. For any further queries, please reach out to us on the contact details flashing on your screen right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.